It's going to be a challenge for some folks, but traffic will be so light because we have schools closed. We have businesses closed, government offices closed down. Not as bad on the roadways if you do have to travel as I expected it would be. You're going to find some snow covered roads. You're going to find some slush. You're actually going to find some lane recognition in some areas around town. And you can see from a lot of the different cameras that we're looking at a pretty typical uh, snowy commute for most of us. Take a look at the drive uh, out to the northeast. This is where a lot of the highways are closed down right now, including a big one, I-76 from Sterling out to Nebraska. We also have I-25 southbound closed down in Loveland there at Highway 34 for the next hour because of a crash that's being cleaned up. Also, we have one down to the south. Take a look from the camera down here at Castle Pines Parkway and northbound I-25 is being restricted right here. You can see the flashing lights behind me here, also restricting traffic on that northbound side because of a crash right by Ridgegate. So you can see from the uh, uh, drive times around town, it's actually not too bad with speeds mostly in the 40s, some 50s out there. Overall, it's going to be a very light drive, obviously snow covered anywhere you want to go right now. Yeah, all through the night and even into the early morning hours, it's been snowing and dozens of school districts and government offices have already either canceled class or closed down for the day because of our severe weather. So on your screen right now is a fraction of the shutdown alerts we received into our newsroom. We have the full list scrolling at the bottom of the screen, uh, but they include Denver Public Schools, Jeffco, Doug Co, several of the school districts. Even the state legislature is on a snow day today. And you can see the full list on our website, Denver7.com. It's at the very top of our homepage under closures and delays. Also, hundreds of cancellations already in and out of Denver's airport. I just checked FlightAware, 262 canceled flights. A lot of them are from Southwest Airlines, 34 flights delayed. Those numbers have not changed much over the last hour or so. So many of those cancellations may have been in anticipation of the storm. Right, all eyes on Southwest these days. Well, the official weather station for Denver is out at the airport and at last check, they've recorded about five inches of snow there. Denver 7's Colette Bordelana is making her way to the northeast part of the metro. Uh, it's been coming down though pretty steady on you this morning. You're at 45th and Washington. How how is it there? Roads are a bit slushy out here and definitely when we got from 25 onto that switch onto 70, very, very slushy driving. But you can't keep me at home on a snow day. Of course, that's what I'm being careful on the roads. You can see that we do have some people out and about early this morning, making their way slowly down Washington. If you go all the way the other direction, you can even see some of that slush continuing right there under those train tracks. This turn in particular, though, that that car is making right there. I've seen a couple of people slip and slide on that turn since we've been standing out here. You can definitely tell though plows have been out, but it is still pretty slushy, pretty slick. Obviously still very early in the morning. It's supposed to be a lot worse as we get closer and closer to Commerce City, Aurora, Brighton. So we're headed that direction next to show you the conditions out that direction.